Here we have a circle and a point outside of the circle. We'll call this point the external point. And we know that there are two lines that go through this point and are tangent to the circle. In this video, we're going to take a look at the segments contained by these tangent lines. And these segments are defined by the common external point and each point of tangency. Just by visual inspection, they look like they're the same length. And let's see if we can prove that they are. To do this, we're going to construct an auxiliary segment connecting the common external point and the center of the circle. Next, we're going to construct the radii that connect the center of the circle to each point of tangency. And now we've constructed two triangles. As we know, a line tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius extended to that point of tangency. So both of these angles are right angles, making both of these triangles right triangles. And since we know that all radii of a common circle are congruent, that means that these segments are congruent. And then through the reflexive property of congruency, we know that this segment is congruent to itself, which also happens to be the hypotenuse of each right triangle. And since we know the pair of the legs are congruent, and we know that the hypotenuses are congruent, then we can use the hypotenuse leg theorem to prove that these two triangles are congruent. And now, through CPCTC, we know that these two segments are congruent. So, our intuition was right. Tangent segments from a common external point are always congruent. And this theorem is going to be helpful later as we further study circles.